welcome on your pedia and today i'm sitting in it mandi campus with professor rahul dean academics thanks a lot sir for your time thank you so professor rahul uh, i was just uh, talking to you and uh, i got awareness about the new courses uh, which you are planning to launch in it mandi and a very beautiful term you coined and that is academic tourism so as we know himachal mein main main you know source of income for you know uh, revenue for the government is through tourism Good. and if it is academic tourism it is even wonderful so professor uh, rahul i want you to tell us about the new courses which you are planning to launch uh, from coming academic years yes so from 2023 we are going to launch a new btech programs which are one is btech general engineering btech material science and engineering and btech uh, in chemical sciences so if you look into uh, btech general engineering if the name itself says engineering but it's a general in nature mm -hmm. so it's general in nature means we uh, we we also follow that it's not a traditional branch of expertise mm -hmm. it is something where you can choose your branch mm -hmm. so we give you the fundamental of engineering mm -hmm. but you will same time will give you the options to make them your own degree mm -hmm. for example you want to make a a degree in liberal art okay. you want to make a specialization in photography mm -hmm. so we'll give you the expert we'll, we have mou with the many institution mm -hmm. where you go for the photography particularly you go for the sports you go for the product design mm -hmm. and you can make your own degree so mm -hmm. btech general engineering with a specialization in liberal art mm -hmm. specialization in photography mm -hmm. specialization in the ayurveda mm -hmm. similar kind of thing mm -hmm. so those things are, are already planned and will be executing from 2023 for the btech degree uh, same time we also focus because we are staying in the himalayas which have very good uh, uh, the as you rightly said for a tourism purpose mm -hmm. himalaya uh, we have more economy dependent upon tourism mm -hmm. so we also want to in, uh, include our academic culture mm -hmm. along with the tourism mm -hmm. so that uh, it will be a the good opportunity for the the candidates for the different degrees to explore the himalaya for tourism purpose as well as to learn something from iit mandi and and to be associated associated with iit mandi so for that we have a different provisions in different degree programs for example we have a part time degrees available in masters in uh, mtech research as well as the phd degree where the students or the candidates who are working professional somewhere can join us for in a part time degrees and they can not to be here for long time mm -hmm. how they can uh, be associated with the online and along with some sometimes in a year whenever they find some vacation they can come here and join us mm -hmm. so the and the our regulation is such a way that they can earn the degree in 2 years along with without compulsion of long term stay in it mandi mm -hmm. same time uh, this is the opportunity for all part time student in mtech research as well as in phd we also give them privilege if the is to the, the candidates are from teaching institution mm -hmm. having a low income group or the the salary is little low then they no tuition fee for them mm -hmm. we give them the opportunity for tuition fee waiver mm -hmm. so this is another uh, the opportunity which is nowhere in any other ites mm -hmm. so we also provide them mm -hmm. so uh, this is a, these are the new privilege opened with the new education policy in line with that mm -hmm. so we we welcome all of you to join us it mandi okay thank you So, Professor Rahul, as you rightly said, the course General Engineering looks like the, on the theme of new education policy only, because earlier uh, we were having two engineering branches club together. Then the era came when uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering got separated, and now again we are entering into the era of General Engineering, but maybe with the specialization in particular domain. Yes. So this uh, we have a traditional branch: B Tech, Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Computer Science, Civil Engineering, Bio Engineering, Engineering Physics. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, the the B Tech General Engineering is open just not to club with these particular programs which are already there. Mm -hmm. This is the non-traditional. I gave the example: Liberal Art, mm -hmm. not B Tech General Engineering with Mechanical Specialization. Mm -hmm. B Tech General Engineering with Specialization in something which is very very specific which is where you will not find any btech degree in any other place in particular specialization mm -hmm. so the students can explore themselves in particular area where they feel there is some uh, the scope is there and same time they can earn the btech degree actually professor rahul when a student uh, wants to join some particular course in a uh, uh, premium institute like iit mandi what comes to their mind is like uh, placements and job opportunities Mm. So, uh, what is that aspect of general engineering which you are trying to introduce? 
uh, yes so we have the specialized and we will we have a, a curriculum in such a way that it should take care of engineering science if you go to the gate examination there is a subject known as engineering science yes. so we take care of uh, all those uh, uh, the specialization so that the student should not be uh, uh, debarred from is any specialization particularly same time we also offer minor and major degree in different areas for example we take in general engineering and they can earn minor in mechanical engineering minor in computer science mm -hmm. same time if they invest one more year they can get major in computer science mm -hmm. so they can fill up two degree in a in a one package which is a ug degree mm -hmm. four plus one years mm -hmm. and they can get two degrees so there's there is a lot more flexibility where the student can choose one branch and expertise with the other branch and will be entitled and applicable for any placement purpose in the company. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, Professor Rahul, you said that we are going to introduce MTech for working professionals and that is maybe it is like MTech executive program and you said it will be of two years and uh, though it will be online but they can come to IIT Mundi campus for some duration. I don't know. We yes. have decided how much duration that is going uh, to be. Yes. Some duration. So we, we are going to start very soon MTech executive programs. Yeah. Still, uh, regulations are not framed. Mm -hmm. However, uh, these programs will be unique in nature for working professionals and on the topic which are actually uh, on the on the state of art where the requirement of is there. Mm -hmm. So those topics will be selected. Maybe next three four months we will be having as a unique program mm -hmm. where we will try to introduce our academic culture with the tourism. Mm -hmm. So that the we, we we take care of our the all the working professionals who will be enrolled in those programs mm -hmm. with mental health mm -hmm. and have healthy culture or academic culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Professor Rahul, we have identified the uh, you know duration of job experience prerequisite for that. Uh, normally, it's not clear. However, it, hardly it will be one to two year. Okay. Reason is we have PhD degree where we ask for maximum two year research experience yes. or company experience. So it can be from one to two years. Uh, yes, yes, hardly. Wonderful. Both ideas are uh, very good, uh, Professor Rahul. General engineering and also the MTech uh, executive program which you said and uh, promoting academic tourism in this Himalayan, uh, you know, university or Himalayan state, this particular okay. center of uh, excellence. I'm very sure this is going to work. And uh, let me thank you thank for you. the time you spared to inform us about this. Thank you. Thank you.